Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle well this really is a great venue it adds so much character to every game it stages the portes tolima have gone 4-3-3 jim how do you interpret that Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. The action has already started. it back tries to get it forward quickly more than happy to take the muscular approach hoists it forward it out to the wing beautifully done can't get the better of his opposite number it's a very good battle there terrific to watch And it's played forward, driving on it, real chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. And the counter is on. Played out to the right. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. And there is the half-time whistle. Well, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. It's the first half compared with your expectation. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. We're already back on the way here. The Portas de Lima can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Gets into a dangerous position. That could spell trouble.
beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Deportes Tolima take the lead, 1-0. Oh, well, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. here goes for it danger averted for now Played into the middle, up to meet it! Keeper's got good distance on that. Over to the left. Looks to clip it forward. And he's there to clear it. The Portas de Lima are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Into the channel, gets wrestled off the ball, forward it goes. Hoists it forward. <laughs> Aimed in towards the centre. Reporters to Lima certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority like And that's that. Deportes to Lima. Hold on. It's a narrow squeak. Good luck. Some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them. They upped their game in the end. And I thought they got what they deserved.